Well hello everyone and welcome back to the farm. It is a very early start this morning and that's because we've got a long drive ahead of us. Need to make sure the cows are all sorted, the sheep are sorted and we're going to be gone for two days. I have already managed to get a low loader rented from the dealership. That was a thousand pound rental that was, it was a lot. It was one of their new ones but because of the miles that I'm doing with it, they said thousand pounds, please. But I need it to be good. I need it to last. I need it to survive. Because we're going all the way to Ireland. We booked on a ferry early afternoon this afternoon, and we're going to get over there to pick up the old telehandler. It's going to be weird being back at the farm. Can't believe we're getting back to Gavin's farm, but it's uh, it's going to be good at the same time. It's been really nice to see it. Doggo is going to be well looked after. Abby and Gavin are both going to look after him. I did want Gavin to come with me, but he said he didn't want to, and he's got he's got that date to attend anyway. So that was a bit of a a pain, but. Uh, Never mind. We're not losing the front loader tractor just yet. Uh, we've got it still till the end of the month. Hopefully that will give me enough time to get the um, get the telehandler up and running again. I mean, Gavin said it did run the last time that he uh, he tried it. So, there's a good chance that we'll be okay with it. Ah, grass looks good. Looks like it could do with a cut. That's going to have to be later in the month. Let's see, get that silage in for the cows. Alright. They look good for food. There's a little bit of poop in there, but that can stay in there. Gavin's always around if there's an emergency, and he does still drive the tractors. Occasionally. When they're you know, wrapped in bubble wrap and all sorts of protection. So, um, I just need to check on the sheep and then we're going to get underway. Alright, sheep look good. Sheep look very good. Get this gate closed up. Right, I'm going to get back in the house, I'm going to make some sandwiches for the journey, and a flask, and we're going to get going. I have booked uh, an overnight stay in Batley Spring, at the pub, so we'll be staying there tonight, and uh, coming back with the low loader tomorrow. With the low loader, well yes, with the low loader, but with a... Uh, telehandler on it hopefully right let's get a cup of tea well, what a difference half an hour it makes to the to the light I mean, it's still obviously early seven o'clock in fact but yes very light i've got my flask i've got my sandwiches we are good to go it's going to take us a good chunk of the morning to get over to the ferry port so yeah, um, I'm not going to film the whole journey, obviously. Uh, we'll, we'll join you again when we get back towards Bally Spring. Uh, right, get that started up. I need a light, <coughs> light load at the minute, so the tractor can warm up on the way. Nothing on the trailer. I did connect the, uh, the lights. Oh, of course they did, because they come back from the dealership, didn't they? Right, well, if all it cost me is a thousand pounds to get this telehandler, because Gavin said he was joking about the two thousand. If I can get it running, he said it's mine. Which is fantastic, because hopefully all it'll need is a bit of diesel to get it back here anyway. And then... Uh, and then we can work on making it better. There we go. Right. Time to 
head off. It's been a long old journey. I did manage to get a bit of rest on the uh, on the ferry, but we are finally here. It's about two o'clock in the afternoon, and we are here. Well, that's going to be where I need to fill up with some fuel before we uh, before we leave. Fuel's on tap at home. It's not here, although we do buy bulk loads, obviously. Um, now we will be heading down there tomorrow to the farm but as it's getting late today I'm going to head in get a nice meal I haven't managed to eat anything except for my sandwiches today so far not a lot around here seems to have changed it still seems to be pretty s similar to how it was the pub's exactly the same it looked after well anyway um, I am going to park up over here Let's leave that there. There you go. All locked up. Uh, right. I'll get around this way. Here we go. So I'm going to disappear in here for a nice meal. And, uh, and then get my room. And, um... Tomorrow morning, we'll head over to uh, to see if we can get the telehandler. Well, this is a bit miserable compared to the day we had yesterday. I mean, the forecast is for it to clear up, but uh, at the minute, really miserable. Good job I brought my jacket with me. Right then, let's get in and get down to the farm, see if we can find anyone. Put the lights on, there we go. Okay. Get over there. We know the way. I still remember. I still remember the right way. Hello, this is new down here. Someone's built a farm on the corner down here. That was never there before. There's the old farm over there. Just a few more corners to head round. Look at this. That's all very new. Well, it didn't look that new. <laughs> Maybe it was built just after I left and it's now fairly old, but... Oh, police. Come on, watch where I'm going. Ah, our old house. Look at that. Oh, it looks like a policeman's residence now and they've knocked down the garage. <laughs> right. There we go up this way there's Owen's old farm don't know who owns that now
Wow, it is. I've got butterflies being back in this area. And here we are. The place where it all started. Incredible. Right. If I remember rightly, getting through this gate was a pain, even without a trailer on. So now, let's see what we can do. Uh, it's tight, but it's 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 working. Right. Well. We should probably park up and see if there's anyone around. They are expecting us. Gavin did phone ahead. Wouldn't mind a little nosy just to see what they've done with the place, to be honest. Oh, horrible weather. Well, look at this. Let's stand in here. Oh, my God. This can't be, surely. Is it? No. That can't be Owen's old tractor, surely. I think it is, you know. It's a little bit more worn out and a little bit dirtier. Obviously it was new back then, but that is incredible. Wow. Right, I better go and find someone before I get accused of snooping. Go and knock on the door. Miserable weather. Hello there, mate. Hello, I've uh, I've, I've come to, for the um, for the telehandler that Gavin left here. Yes, yes, we've been expecting you. Come in, have a cup of tea, get out of this rain. Oh, thank you. Yes, mate, so we've been ex in expecting you. Um, Gavin phoned ahead and said you were on the way. I've had a quick look over it. I think if we chuck in some diesel, uh, it might be all right. It might, might fire up and then you can drive it on. Obviously, it's going to need a lot of work before it's useful, functionally. But to get it onto your trailer, I think we'll be all right. Oh, thank you very much. I got to say, it is so strange being back here. This is where I started my farming life back when I was 18. Well, it, it's changed a little bit since then, but uh, not a huge amount. Feel free to take a look around, but I'll tell you what, let's wait until the rain stops, shall we? Okay, well, thank you very much. I'm looking forward to it. Right, well, the rain has stopped. We've had a good few hours chat about the good old days. <laughs> the garage where I used to park my Land Rover. Before that, the Golf. Right, well, he did say I could have a look around and then we'll crack on with um, trying to sort out the, the telehandler. What on earth is this? Ah, oh, they did say he did say they did some off-road racing. This must be their race car. Crikey, looks like a mean bit of kit, doesn't it? I'm not sure about that myself, but yeah. For that, they got one of those new JCB fast tracks. Brilliant. Skid steer. Wow. Well, they've certainly upgraded the silage bit. You can get a lot more in there. It was just a flat plate before. Oh, look. They've made use of this area down here. Ah, so they've put in a new shed. And a slurry tank. Well, that's really impressive use of the space, actually. I'm really impressed with that. That would have been a good idea. Anyway, hello cows. They look happy. 
Wow, it really is giving me butterflies to be back here. Oh, and it turns out that this is Owen's old tractor. Or they bought it off of Gavin when they bought the farm. And it's been a fantastic workhorse, he says. Obviously, it's getting a bit old now. Bits failing on it, but he says it's been brilliant. Can't believe it. Right, he did say... Just take the water tanker off the Kubota. And I can use that to pull the... Oh my god, look. He did say it was a bit overgrown, but... Wow. Well, let's, let's get that um, animal tractor out of the way. Animal trailer out of the way, I should say. Quite a nice smooth tractor this. Engine's definitely very smooth. Right, let's connect this up. There. He said just pull it onto the yard and we'll get it out of the way. But we'll do that. Need enough room for us to uh, set up the low loader though, so we'll just put that here. That's a nice little tractor. Hmm. God, it would be lovely to have a newer tractor on my farm. It really would. Hey, buddy. Hello, mate. Um. Yeah, I can see what you mean, but it's overgrown. Uh, it's overgrown, but it's not it's not in that bad a shape. It's 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 definitely worn out. Um, the hydraulics I don't think work anymore, so you're going to need to sort them out. Uh, but yeah, I think the engine still starts and runs. It just needs a spot of diesel in it. So, in fact, I tell you what, there's a there's a brush cutter over in the uh, in the sh in the new shed over there. Why don't you go get it, and we'll um, we'll cut all this back, give us better access to it. Okay, that sounds good. I'll tell you what, I'll go get the diesel while you do that. All right, thanks very much. And there you go. He's off to get the diesel, and we'll get this brush cutter and get stuff cut back. Seems to work really well. It's. Uh, Fired up. Warming up nicely. If we get all these bushes cut back, we should have much better access to it. Let's uh, give that a go then. Uh, how do I engage it? There we are. Seems to be cutting the grass alright. Oh, here we go. Chopping away the bushes. Brilliant. Right. I shall get on with this and hopefully we can get better access to it. There we go. Well, that's made a big difference. A big difference. Uh, right, here's the fuel tank. It looks a bit dirty, but it doesn't look like it's rusted through anywhere. Fantastic. Right, uh, while I'm waiting for him, then I might as well set up the low loader. I need to get it to uh, get the ramps folded down at the back. done. 
Okay. Put shut off. We are booked to get back on a ferry this afternoon, so I'm hoping that this won't take too long. But where is he with that fuel? Hello, buddy. Oh, hello. We'll stick this in it, and we'll get it started up. Thank you very much. There we go. You got the keys? Here you go. Ah, oh, thank you. Right. Let's see if we can climb in through this door. Right, here we go then. Moment of truth. I cannot believe it started up that easily. Oof, I want a bucket. That's incredible. Oh, there's quite a lot of black smoke coming out of the, uh, the exhaust though. Definitely, definitely need some work. Right, well let's see if we can get in. Lift up the boom slightly. Yep. Oh, that still works. Brilliant. But it doesn't move in and out, though. It does drive. Look at that. My God. That's unbelievable. It still drives. It's not brilliant. Feels like it needs greasing up. But yeah, it still drives. Right, let's put the bail spikes onto the trailer. And then we can pick up the bucket. Oh, 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 come on, you can do it. Yes. Let's jump out and see if that's... Ah. Well, that's a bit further forward than I hoped. In fact, that was very close to puncturing the tyre. Oops. Not ideal. Um. Hmm. Uh, I think we're going to have to... Uh, I think we're going to have to put the bucket on first and then back up to it with the spikes on. If we can get them off. Let's try that then. Still release. Wow. I'll tell you what. It's going to be fantastic to have this around the farm. Right, let's get in to get the bucket. We'll get that on the trailer. Well, that is absolutely incredible. Right, let's get the ramps up 
And then we'll see what we can do with the boom. <laughs> it's working well. Right, let's get a strap on here. Okay, uh, we're going to lower the boom, but it might just have to uh, stick out the back ever so slightly there. Is that going to be alright? Hmm. Yeah, I think it will. Uh, it would have been better to put the... put the JCB on first and then the bucket on the back but then I've got nothing to put the bucket on with right get it all strapped to the trailer right say goodbye to him where has he gone oh he's over here well thank you very much for helping me with all that I'm gonna hit the road now see if I can get back to the uh, to the ferry no worries at all mate that's not a problem and uh Good luck on your journey. Tell Gavin I said hi. I will do. Thank you very much. been a long old day the ferry was delayed it's now getting on for maybe 10 o'clock at night and it's quite obviously dark however we're nearly home and what's more is we have a telehandler nearly home as well this is absolutely fantastic I'm really, really pleased with this. Not too much further now. Just up here to the windmill, and then we're off to the farm. There's the Court Farms Country Park campsite. That's how we know we're nearly home. Well, that, and I know where I am. Ugh. <laughs> uh. At least I could get something to eat and a coffee on the uh, on the ferry. It has been a very long day. There's our windmill. Well, not our windmill, but the windmill. We'll be turning off just up here. Let's get the indicator on. I don't think I will be taking this off the trailer tonight. It's um, the trailer hasn't got to go back till tomorrow or till next week anyway. Cause I've got it. A, I had a week rental on it, so I might as well leave it as it is. But I do not feel like offering taking Abby's dad's tractor back. I have done enough driving for this week. Here we are, home sweet home. 
Alright, let's just get the gates open. There we go. I did phone ahead and ask Abby to make sure that uh, Doggo was all sorted. Should have been fed and everything. Oh, there he is. Hello, Doggo. Okay, let's pull this forward here. Doggo! That is far from helpful. Thank you. I must switch the beacons off now. And let's just... Well... Switch everything off. There we go. Let's whack the yard lights on to have a look. Let's see what we've got. Well, we know what we've got, but, you know. Ah, hey, doggo. Oh, doggo, I better shut the gates. There we go. Gates shut. Beautiful. Right. Look at this beauty. Can't believe we made it all the way back from Ireland. Absolutely fantastic. We weren't even stopped by the police for having it overhanging. Great news. So, we've got a bucket, and we've got a bale spike. But, the pallet forks are long gone, apparently. Who knows where they are? Can't complain. This is all looking very good. Can't complain at all. Right then. Well, I'm going to leave it there for today. I am knackered. I'm going to go in. I'm going to have some a snack and go to bed. Doggo's going to do that too. Right. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again very soon. Bye for now.